Hi guys and welcome to Feywood. So the title probably gives us away if I call this video what I think I'm going to call it. I figured I'd do a get ready with me and chat to you guys because I haven't done that for the longest time and I haven't done live streaming and there's just yeah. Um, but basically I need a break. Um, I haven't been in a good frame of mind and that's to do with what's happening in the world but also things that are happening personally and just feeling tired and run down and not taking any time for myself really so anyway before I start chatting I might start slapping things on my face because otherwise we'll be here all day um, <laughs> as you know I do like to chat and I can get a bit sidetracked. It's I'm not very good at multitasking. My husband likes to um, <laughs> remind me of that. It's true though. I am easily distracted and so if I'm trying to do one thing that usually distracts me from doing other things. I, I'll try and list things down below. I'm not the best at doing that all the time. I will try and do it though because I don't want to like tell you about everything that I'm using but I'll just mention like I got this like sample, um, I was going to call it moisturizer, foundation. Um, I got this sample foundation and it's the wrong color but I've been just like wanting to use it up because it's decent size stuff. It's too dark for me and I've been trying to use up this one from The Ordinary that I've had for a while which I don't like and is quite pale and I can handle you know deepening it up a little bit so I just mix the two. I'm using this like little I don't know, Buffy brush um, to put it on lately because it just seems easier at the moment. I don't know why. Lately, I have been putting makeup on, but it's been pretty basic makeup. You know, partly just to make myself feel better and for the odd, you know, work Zoom meeting and stuff like that. Uh, we don't actually use Zoom, but we use Microsoft Teams, but everyone knows Zoom, so I feel like Zoom's kind of the verb. <laughs> yeah, so it's been a while since I've chatted to you guys and you know, I'm I'm sorry I disappeared and I I had announced, you know, doing live streams and then as you know, I didn't continue with that. Um I don't know. So many things were happening in the world. Black Lives Matter was happening, all the stuff with COVID's been you know getting worse and I I think that's like I think partly I start looking at what I do and feeling like it's frivolous and it's not important and you know I start getting in my head about it so I'm like well who wants to listen to me prattle on about whatever um makeup and beads and creative things and whatever else I chat about while all this stuff's happening in the world it just didn't feel like the right time for me to continue and then I was feeling run down after that for a while. I've been run down for a while. Uh, I don't know why, I just, maybe everything that's happening but also like I tend to get allergies or something, you know, and it's just always been sort of part of like my list of chronic symptoms and partly it just like makes me feel really worn down. And it can last a really long time and I don't really know what causes it or why I feel that way but um, yeah I've just been feeling really really run down so I, I just like there was a couple of times I thought about getting on camera and my husband convinced me out of it he said you're not in the frame of mind for it so and he was right I really wasn't in the frame of mind for it I was I was doing it because I um, said that I would do it so it was like this feeling of obligation that I should I should you know that terrible word that we give you know beat ourselves around the head with the shoulds I do that to myself all the time yeah and like trying to do a project every week and film it and edit it uh, you are working on it all the time so all my free time has been going to that so I need a break <laughs> and and I also think like it's not sustainable for me right now like 
I think I would feel more, um, maybe more motivated. It sounds terrible to say this, but like it's true. I'd feel more motivated if, um, if I felt like it made a difference, you know, like if I felt like there was a lot of people watching, I get it, I get a handful of views on things, you know, but a lot of the time I'm spending a lot of money and a lot of time on a project and maybe a hundred people will watch it or something like that and maybe some of those people will dislike it as well after all of that you know you get it for free and I've done all this and yeah it's um it's demotivating De definitely demotivating um but yeah I don't know I think I just need to I just need to have a period of time where I don't have deadlines and I've got some leave from work coming up so I figured I need to just like do some self-care for a while and not have anything I have to do for a while. Yeah, I don't know. We're in lockdown though. <laughs> I live I live on the outskirts of Melbourne, um, obviously because there's a forest out there, but um, <laughs> I, uh, I don't live right in the CBD or anything like that, but like a lot of suburbs in uh, Melbourne are being I guess they're calling it the second wave or whatever of the virus so they've put us into it's called stage four lockdown which I don't know if that means anything to anyone who's not from Australia but um, basically means you can't leave your house for anything other than shopping once a day um, and only one person from the house can go shopping uh, you can go exercising for up to an hour and only two people from the household can go together. There's only two people in our household, so that's fine. Only two at once, unless you don't have a choice. Like if you've, you know, single parent with kids or something like that, I think they're letting them out. You need a permit to go to work, so you can't go to work unless you have an approved permit saying you have to go to work. I'm working from home, so that doesn't apply to be to me. But sorry, I got a little bit of a hiccup there. Um, doesn't apply to me, but my husband had to get a permit to be able to work on site. He doesn't work on site all the time, but like sometimes he has to go in. So he had to do that. And what else? I don't know. You you just can't go out for um any reason other than like shopping exercise medication what else work if you're allowed to and that's it you can't have anyone over you can't go to anyone's house uh there's a oh there's a curfew <laughs> so you can't even be out of your house after eight for anything any reason or you get like massive fines and stuff like that so yeah so i'm gonna be having my annual leave in lockdown because we're in lockdown for the next six weeks and then I guess they'll just play it by you at that point uh, which you know is a bit miserable I guess but um I mean I need a break there as well so I'm just like I'm just happy to have a break you know and I thought you know I need to I need to really so I haven't been in a great place mentally either uh, I don't know if it's coming across on camera, but I'm not feeling my same, you know, vibrant, bubbly self at the moment. And I'm sure a lot of you can probably um, commiserate and probably feeling the same way. You know, um, I think all of us are going through those like waves of, I don't know if I'd say depression because I feel like um, people use that term too freely and it takes away from people who actually have you know clinical depression and things like that um but i think these things can bring you into those like can bring out those issues you know in people like i i normally i'm more of a i, I suffer from anxiety you know and i've had periods of um severe anxiety attacks through my life and stuff like that I try and be open about it because I think it takes some of the stigma away to talk about, you know, um, mental health in an open way. And, you know, I've had to have medication for it a number of times 
when it's gotten bad and you know it gives you very ne there's a very negative self-talk that I have in my head a lot of the time and it can really impact the way you interact in life you know so uh, the little anxious voice in your head just tells you that everyone everyone hates you and you should just go away um, and what you're doing isn't of value and you are not as good as other people and like it um, catastrophizes things as well and it's not a great place to be you know and um, when so many things happen and you have I've noticed there's like been coping mechanisms that I had that I didn't even realize were coping mechanisms that I no longer have and you know some of those were just like simple things most of them were simple things um, going for a walk which I can do but we have to wear a mask now and um, we have a lot of hills around here and I'm so unfit that like I'm puffing and panting so having a mask on makes it really bloody hard if it was flat I would be fine and and um, and I would go for a walk but I'm finding myself not even wanting to leave the house now I can't go and talk to friends and I haven't had any friends do any of the zoom things with me or anything um, we've been catching up on Facebook mostly and text and I did play some games where we had like a discord going um, but I haven't done that even for a while so I, I haven't had a lot of interaction with people and I wouldn't call myself a, like a socialite or anything like that but I do like having some social interaction and work is not the same you know we have meetings and stuff but they're they're not they're not social meetings they're you know work meetings obviously so it's like so it doesn't feel there's not much of a there's no socializing happening in my world right now so I'm feeling really kind of cut off from the world and also other things I used to love going out to restaurants with my husband you know if we had a if I had a bad day and I was like I oh, you know work's been tough I just want to unwind you know let's go out to dinner and it just sort of something that you feel like you're treating yourself, you're getting out of the house. It's just something a bit nice. And, um, you know, obviously we can't, we can't do that. So I guess, and like, these are just little things. And I always like, I catch myself, this is probably anxiety talking again, to be honest, but um, I catch myself feeling upset about those things and then berating myself for feeling upset about those things. Cause like, I've got it really good compared to other people, you know, and um, like I don't know anyone that had has had the virus at this point, touch wood, although we've had um, our worst day in Melbourne was yesterday, numbers wise, so yeah, uh, who knows. And my mum and my sister are, are high risk, so you know, who knows. Yeah, I mean, I, I have a job still. Um, I have a beautiful house that I love. I'm blessed in a lot of ways, but, you know, I guess I have to remind myself it is okay not to be okay, even though you can tell yourself, yeah, there's people out there that have it worse, but there's always people that have it worse. And I have to remind myself of that, that, like, I, don't, I shouldn't feel, I shouldn't, add to me feeling upset by making me feel guilty for being upset if that makes sense <laughs> so yeah I don't know I've had feel, feeling kind of rough lately and I think it's just lack of self-care everything that's going on lack of self-care and like I've, I have had some really sad personal things happening as well like family members like although I don't know any family members that have had the virus uh, unfortunately one of my family members um, did go into hospital and has had a really bad uh, diagnosis and it was it was really really bad it is really bad um, but I don't really want to talk about it because it's not my place to sort of give that information it's not it's not about me um, you know and like I don't want to like I don't want to I don't want to 
give away details about someone else that's personal to them and their situation. But obviously it impacts me as well to kind of go through that. I don't know. It's hard to talk about it without really talking about it. You know what I mean? And then, you know, had another person who was someone in my childhood who passed away. Uh, again, I'm not going to talk about details about that because it's not for me to say. And I haven't known, haven't been in contact with that person for uh, years, like years and years and years. But it, you know, it does, it does make you upset when you hear about that even if you've been out of contact with someone and you think about, oh, wow, you know, they were in my life a lot when I was young and um, and they passed away, you know. So, so yeah, so it's been a bit tough. Uh, <laughs> I had two friends that have had to cancel weddings, so that's not great, yeah. Um, you know, I had one friend whose wedding was cancelled a while back because it was you know looming up to the date and the restrictions weren't easing it, like things hadn't taken a turn yet here at that point but it was still um, restricted in numbers and states were you know state our states have been blocking the borders which is understandable because they're trying to contain it so they you're not allowed to cross borders into other states at the moment and particularly us in Melbourne you know we're looked at like you know zombie apocalypse kind of thing like stay stay over there Victoria <laughs> it's been a lot worse here and and again I'm like I'm tentative about saying a lot worse because you know our numbers are not as bad as other countries as well but we were but it was that thing of like you, you have this hope that, oh, maybe, you know, maybe we can get back to some sort of normalcy and not be scared anymore and it'll be okay. And then everything turned around. Like, for a little while there, like, we even went out to dinner a couple of times. I don't know what's like for you guys. Like, I think in the States things are kind of open, although I wouldn't be going out if I were you. Like, that's not the risk I need to be taking for most things in my life but um yeah uh, we've been much more cautious here in Australia because we really wanted to make sure it was either gone or under really under control and a lot of states got to that point and something happened and things just pff, turned around so I actually went out to dinner a couple of times before all that happened which was so nice or maybe once and then brunch once or something like that anyway I went out for food and and it was it was nice it was like I don't want to say it felt normal actually I might do my eyebrows before I do my eyeshadow because I don't know I feel weird doing it when I haven't got my eyebrows on um it was nice it was it was a nice welcome break it was nice to see people in the street and feel like you're not in some weird movie like what's that movie I am legend yeah I think it's I am legend where there's like nobody out and about and now who we're in the freaking reality of that I mean it's not um zombies but you know it <laughs> I mean I don't know it's like doesn't feel real I'm gonna have to probably concentrate on this little bit I'm sorry I'm I'm leaning down because I've got a mirror here. I don't even know if you can see it. No, it's right down here. Uh, I'm just trying to see what I'm doing. So, yeah, I'm sorry. I I didn't keep up my uh, live streams, but I just it just it didn't feel right, and and I haven't been feeling good. I just need to stop for a, a little bit and give myself some time to just be and to look after myself a little bit I'll, I'll be back I will be back it's not I'm not leaving YouTube or anything like that um, I, I even thought about continuing on but because you know I've got leave and I'll have a bit more time to do things anyway but I thought no 
like I really need to put myself first and this is a perfect time to do it because I, I can switch off from everything for a little bit and just do some things for myself you know just do some things that I enjoy I want to pamper myself a little bit so I might do that I, I've got out of the habit of like doing things like face masks and still do skincare but I hadn't been doing any of that I want to try and find a new type of exercise regime that possibly I could do inside if I'm you know not wanting to go out with a mask on plus it was so cold here no joke it snowed here and it never snows here um, sometimes it snows up the hill like we're on um, a lower part of, of a larger sort of escarpment I guess and um, as it as you get further up it has been known to snow a bit up there but I've not seen snow down here. I had heard that um, not far from us I'd heard there'd been some snow but not not here and I looked out the window uh, the other day was it yesterday or the day before? Day before maybe and we noticed it was so cold and I said to Dan I said that doesn't look like rain it, f it seems like it's kind of floating down I said I think that's snow and we kept looking and sure enough it was snow not enough for it to accumulate anywhere unfortunately which I would have loved um, I like snow the main time I got to really enjoy snow was when I lived in America for six months or so when I was younger and it was lovely having snow like we do have some areas in Australia that get snow I know it's hard to believe because everyone thinks of um, Australia as just desert and hot and everything and and look honestly a lot of it is <laughs> and um, and our cold is probably not the same as cold in America or in other countries where you do get more contrasted seasons and things it was cold and I don't know if we're gonna get any more snow but um, it was it was just a nice little it, it actually brightened my day which was nice because not much has been doing that for me lately like I I, I don't know I, I have been really up and down and I've been trying to do things to make myself feel better sometimes I can get myself absorbed into a project and that's been nice to do and so that's why I was like doing quite a few projects and um, you know I had trouble getting into it at first when everything first started happening I was like I just felt so flat and every it, it, you just get this feeling like what's the point you know and I know I know I I'm not trying to <laughs> encourage that thought pattern but that was where I was at you know I was like why why bother making these creative frivolous things you know all this stuff's happening and what is it what does it even matter? Well, I just had a momentary break there. My husband called me from work. He's really sweet. He calls me at lunchtime most days when he, when I'm at home and he's in the office. So I have decided to play around with my Coloured Rain palette because I haven't given this one enough love. And I'm going to use some JD Glow shadows because I love them and I've been stalking their website for some restocks because there's some shades that I still want and uh, some other things that they have that I still want but it's taken them a while to get things back in stock so I will be keeping an eye out for them <laughs> um, I'm gonna go for like a purple look speaking of makeup and such there's a number of palettes out at the moment that I'm so tempted by but I keep talking myself out of makeup because I'm like I'm not wearing it as often at the moment mostly just haven't been in the mood for it um, I am wearing it sometimes like I said you know I like I try and have um, I have a bit of a morning routine uh, especially on work days I'll get up have breakfast I get dressed still um, and a lot of times we end up on a video call anyway with someone so uh, you know you want to be presentable uh, I'll do my makeup but it's been very basic makeup 
basic foundation, do my eyebrows, usually lip gloss now. I've really gotten into uh, wearing lip gloss or lip balms. Just feel like having something hydrated on my lips and uh, it's something easy to reapply. And I've got a really nice one actually, I brought it out with me. I like the Baby Lips ones from Maybelline. They're really cheap, they smell nice, they've got an SPF. You know, it's, it's good all around. I almost bought one of those, um, is it Sugar brand ones, but like they're like 30 bucks, or like at least 30 Australian dollars. I don't know, there was no difference from what I could tell between that and the Maybelline one. So I'm like, what am I paying for here? Maybe they feel a lot better, I don't know, because, I mean, we can't go into store or anything these days, but uh, I didn't get it because I just thought, let me just get a cheap one for now. And maybe one day I'll try one just to try one, who knows. They do get good feedback. Um, yeah, there's a number of palettes, what was I saying, I'm, <laughs> my brain is all over the shop at the moment and every day is running into the next and... I I don't know. I'm not I'm not running at full capacity right now. Let me tell you. I don't I don't feel um, I don't feel motivated. I don't feel switched on. I feel definitely working on half cylinders right now. I think I was saying I, there's makeup that I've been looking at that I'd love to buy. Like uh, Mel Thompson just announced a new palette with Sydney Grace. I've wanted to try Sydney Grace for so long and she had the um, Christmas in July or whatever sale and I was so tempted but I had just put an order in for, what did I put the order in for? Oh yeah, <laughs> so I do have a palette on the way. I bought the um, Raw Beauty Christie one with um, Pure and oh man, that was a bit of a challenge to get that palette, let me tell you. Their site just shat itself basically and uh, no one could get on for hours apparently and people were trying to, you know, check out. I got a message that I was in a queue or something like that and then I missed the email saying, oh, you can come back onto the website and buy it now. And I just sort of thought, oh, I'll, go, I'll just go back and I'll check it. It was at night here, I don't know what time it was in the States. And I don't know if it was just luck that maybe the time was a bit uh, bad for people in the States or something, but I managed to get on and add it to cart and I'm thinking, oh, okay, maybe I can actually buy this. And I went to check out and like nothing happened. And like it didn't give me any confirmation or anything. And I'm like, oh, okay, don't get it. Let me try that again. And I tried it a third time. <laughs> and, um, and I was like, I don't know what's going on. And then I got, I think, two emails saying they'd taken my payment, but then one sort of instantly kind of refunded it. So they must have had a fail safe so that, you know, people didn't do that. I, I assume some people would have been able to get the palette if they had known that that was what the website was doing, but they possibly didn't know that because there was some people saying they waited for ages and they still couldn't check out properly whereas I feel like I was kind of lucky because I sort of breezed in and breezed out again and I, I wasn't I wasn't sitting around on the website or anything for hours like I just you know thought oh, I'll go and check it like I, I do watch Raw Beauty Christie but I wasn't going to sit on a website for anyone for 16 hours or whatever it was refreshing the cart so it there definitely wasn't any of that I just sort of went in and went oh let me just I'm gonna see if it works now and I'll see if I can check out and sure enough I could so that's on the way some people got it real fast but I mean nothing's fast in Australia so I'm used to it yeah it was a while ago that I bought that but it just takes time everything takes time and even more time now because of everything that's going on anyway I bought that and I was like oh maybe I shouldn't buy any other palettes especially because like again where am I going <laughs> and and like I haven't been doing my makeup as much I haven't been doing any um I haven't been doing like these sit down and get ready with me's as much although I would like to get back into that because I oh, screw it I like it and 
some of you guys might like it. And honestly, I'm getting to a point now where I'm like, I have to get back to the things that I like and hopefully then um, other people will like it too. And, and it's just, it's a lot to do a project every week. So I know that I don't want to be doing that always. You know, I, I love doing them and that won't stop. It's just the um, frequency of them might change and it'll be more about just the time that I need to make a thing, you know, because sometimes it like the necklace ones are good because I, I'm sharing the progress. So I'm not feeling like this pressure to entirely finish um, something. Whereas usually for the other things, I don't really want to have, you know, two or three parts to a video on how to do something because people just don't want to watch that. Um, I try and get a project done and filmed and into one video really. Um, so there is that pressure that I put on myself to do that. Whereas sometimes it's nice just to sit down and chat about a thing and do your makeup or I don't know. I, I really have to think about the types of videos that I enjoy doing and that I want to do. I definitely want to do some more cooking ones. I, I definitely enjoy doing those. They're fun. And I am, um, I am getting my Patreon stuff organised, but because I knew at the moment that I need a break, I'm just not going to announce anything at this point because there's no point announcing it and going, well, see ya! <laughs> um, because, yeah, I, I just, I do need a break from everything. And Patreon, uh, the nature of the of how it works, as probably everyone knows, um, <laughs> is that you are offering more content or more perks or whatever. So it, you know, there's an added on top of what you're doing. There's there's added work to do to keep on top of that. You know, because people are paying money for it. You want to make sure they're getting their money's worth. And I plan to, if I do it, uh, make sure that you know you are getting something out of becoming a patron and also I'll be using that money towards cool videos as well so um and like things to improve the videos and stuff like that so yeah I want to make sure that I'm in the mindset for doing them I am ready to do them and that you guys are going to get your money's worth out of it I do really love those purple colours. The pigments can be challenging because, you know, you do have to be careful with placement. And I am being lazy. I didn't put down a base. I know it's sacrilegious. <laughs> I'm terrible. I, I do wear a base sometimes, but where am I going? You know, again, I'm like, oh... It's... I just want to play with the makeup right now. And, uh, and I had a foundation base which I don't fully sort of set down so it adds a little bit of tackiness there. I do need to get myself a good glitter glue. I really want to eventually get the Too Faced glitter glue because I hear that's really good and I think that would be a good one to use. I also really love the Stay Put from JD Glow um, especially for shimmers. That works so nice and you can do a cut crease with that too and it's just it's uh, and it, it does stay put like it lives up to the name <laughs> all right well i think that's enough matt oh maybe i'll put a bit more darkness underneath actually you're not even really zoomed in so i don't even know if you can see what i'm doing but it's not really about the makeup right now uh so i'm just trying to find a brush it's not really about the makeup right now anyway i i, I hope you guys understand my need for a break and i realize this could mean some people will unsubscribe because, I don't know, it's not enough content for them or whatever. I'm like, I will be back. It's <laughs> it's only a short break. I, I have a feeling, I'm not giving a real time frame on it, to be honest, but I think it'll be a few weeks just to give myself a good stretch. And, you know, there's things around the house I want to do as well. I want to read some books. I probably will film, to be honest. Um, so I'll probably spend some time on some projects, which will end up coming out to you guys, w like, afterwards. But um, I don't want a time frame at the moment. Like, I'll, there'll be a few weeks where there's no video for you guys. So that's the only sort of interruption you guys notice. 
Um, but that'll mean that I can like get a head start on filming and editing for when I do return and uh, it'll give me a breather to work on some things around the house that I want to do. I want to do some renovations even though I haven't really updated you guys on anything at all that's happening in my life right now but uh, if you've been watching my videos you might remember I mentioned we bought some land and we were looking to build and that's kind of going awry as well. Um, we got some plans back. We were really excited about the plans uh, when they came back. It was exactly what we were after. We were like, yes, excellent. Like, I'm actually excited about this. Got the initial builder's quotes. Double what we told the draftsman we could afford. And, um, yeah, we were not happy. So, that was a tense, uh, conference call that we had. I I was so angry I could barely talk, I'll be honest, because I just felt like he he stressed to us that he would make sure it was in our budget and he's not one of these people that does something out of your budget because what's the point of that and I always find out what's your budget and make sure it's in your budget and blah blah blah. Like it was, that was how it was all put to us, you know, and we're, we're paying him for this. Like it's, it's not cheap. There's a lot of money that goes into their fees and uh, and it's double of what we can afford so so we have to have him do it again and um, yeah and I don't know what that's gonna mean for what the end results gonna be you know like can we do any of what we wanted like I love so the problem is I love our house that we have now and I was not really necessarily sure about doing this and now now that the plans have had to change and we somehow have to cut half of the house out of the budget I uh, I'm even less sure about it so and we haven't had the new plans returned yet so we're both feeling a bit sad about it not much you can do and I don't think I think it was legitimate I don't think it was the builder over quoting based on the emails because he shared the emails the builder sent they didn't they sounded keen to do the job I mean maybe they maybe they pretend to be keen and I think the problem was it looked so good it looked like it should be worth more than uh, maybe it cost to make that's my theory at least like it looks it looked architecturally designed you know it looks fantastic so so cha-ching you know they just put the price tag on it and I think most people just do that naturally as well if something looks really good even if it doesn't cost the earth there's this natural inclination even when you know your stuff to put a price tag on it and and I think that's what happened um, so I don't know what's going to happen with all of that, but look, at the end of the day, I, I just hope, like, I, I love it here. I love this house. So if we can't have that one, I'm fine with that. As long as we can financially get out of that situation without, you know, it breaking the bank or something, that would be, that's my only hope, um, with that. And, and if it works out, and the next design is great and we're still excited about it and the world isn't ending <laughs> like it is now not in like Rona land um, then maybe we will still do it uh, but I, I just don't know at this point you know and, and honestly it's just ended up in the back of my thoughts right now because as I say I'm, I've just been trying to look after myself really and trying to do things that make me happy I did did I t say I bought the sims I've forgotten um I've, I've forgotten who I've told what to I, I feel like I'm talking to you guys so like and I've been chatting here for a little while this video is going to be amazingly long probably but I don't know if, <laughs> I don't know how much I'll chop it down uh, yeah so I've been playing sims and that's been so much fun I've been getting back into gaming um I've always been a gamer. I love playing games. I'm mostly a um, RPG game lover, but I used to love like platform games. And I also 
loved playing Sims. I had Sims, um, I think I had Sims 2, I don't think I had the first one, maybe. I had Sims 2, I had Sims 3, and now I bought Sims 4 because it was on special. So that's been fun, and I got the magic expansion thing where you can, it's, you know, very Harry Potter-esque, I guess. Uh, which is kind of fun. I know the whole Harry Potter franchise is a little bit contentious right now, so, um, but I don't think it's like, I don't think it's actually Harry Potter themed. I think they've just kept it like similar, but not quite the same. I don't know if it, I don't think it's like, I don't think there was any royalties paid to Harry Potter from that is my sense because everything's you know, similar but not the same, you know what I mean? Um, but it's, it is a lot of fun, that expansion, because you get to learn spells and, like, add things to your spell book, so it's a little bit RPG Sims, which is great for me. And um, I, I, I don't know how to create a character that's magic yet, but my, my Sim that I did create uh, married a magic-wielding husband, and so uh, that's been kind of fun. Um, so I've been playing around with that. Alright, well that's the finished look. Um, so I've finished it off with like a Colourpop gel eyeliner, which is this one here. So I bought a pack of those a while back and I've enjoyed those. Um, and absolutely love this Essence eyeliner. This stuff is fantastic. I love these like liquid gel liners like that. I find the pen ones with like the ink, um, whether it's brush or felt tip or whatever, it's the product itself, it tends to bleed in my eyes, um, mostly in the corners unfortunately. So I'll try and get this nice crisp line and next thing I know it like bleeds away. Whereas this stuff uh, doesn't. And I really want to try the JD Glow version of that when that comes back into stock. But it's one of those things that doesn't stock very often, so I'd have to have a backup of something else probably because, I don't know, they always run out of stock on everything, so it's hard to get your hands on things. Um, what else did I have? Oh yeah, I've got my lip gloss, this balm, and then I've got this Flower Beauty holographic. It's called holographic. They call everybody thing holographic, and it's not. It's iridescent. Um, but I've got a bit of that in the center. I did put a bit much on to start with and it got a bit goopy, you know, matrix lip, but <laughs> I think we're okay now. Good old L'Oreal. Anyway, I said I wasn't going to say what everything was, but there we go. I've given you a bit of a rundown. Oh yeah, and um, I did do a bit of this purple special effect mascara on the bottom lashes. It's a pretty subtle effect. It's not like super bright purple. So if you want something a bit fun that's not too out there, this is pretty good. It's got um, a creamy purple and a metallic purple, and they're both nice. So so that's it. I am going to film a couple more videos, uh, or bits that are going into a video, and then I thought I might do a, a favourites video, just because I feel like doing a favourites video. And I don't know, I think in these sort of darker times, sometimes pays to remember the things that you love and that you're grateful for um, and I've just realized you don't need to be zoomed right into my face right now <laughs> so I might zoom you out hang on uh, yes so anyway um, taking a break but I will be back I will be back and hopefully I'll be back with a bang hopefully I'll have some more energy than I've had I hope so Guys, just for my own sanity, I'm just, you know, feeling really, really flat uh, with everything at the moment. So I, it's just a much needed rejuvenation. I'm going to really, like, really use the time to make myself feel better um, and focus on that. And then, you know, and, and I'll, I'll probably be reflecting on other things like what I want to do for videos and what I want to do going forward um, but I will definitely be going forward so don't worry about that I am I'm not 
I'm not stopping. Um, I do. I have so enjoyed this uh, medium of expression and this way to be able to share things with you guys. I realise there's, um, you know, some new people as well. And normally I would have done a giveaway, but things have been super duper crazy right now. I do plan to do some sort of giveaway, probably after the restrictions are lifted, to be honest, here. Uh, I mean, I think we are allowed to go to the post office, but I don't even know. I don't even know anymore, so I, um... I might wait, I think, until things aren't so crazy in Melbourne and uh, they settle down a little bit. Alright guys, I won't keep you any longer. Um, you know, hopefully you stick around for me. If you don't, then thanks for, thanks for coming by when you did um, and maybe I'll see you again sometime. Uh, but either way, I need to take this break so I am looking forward to it. And hopefully I'll see you next time in Faywood. Bye guys.